Hello, Veteran 121 here, and welcome to a blind let's play of a game that I've been kind of reluctant to buy over the past year or so. Well, not really reluctant per se, I just uh, I've been, you know, playing other games, but uh, I have heard that this game is really good. Not only from you guys, you know, posting comments saying I should do a let's play of it, uh, but also my buddy Pete told me it was good, and uh, a few other people I've talked to said it was pretty good. So I figured I'd give it a try. And that game is Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I have played the first half hour of this game, if you want to call it a half hour, uh, worth playing. I mean, it's more cutscenes than, than anything, most of it, and tutorial stuff. But one thing I do want to change for this first part here is the, is the event scrolling thing. I, I like being able to control the uh, event dialogue, you know, so it doesn't go so fast. Otherwise, yeah, that's all I'm really going to change for now that I think I care about. I don't think I care about anything else, so. But yeah, I've heard this is probably one of the best RPGs created and made over the past, I don't know how long, they said. Basically, this generation is basically what they're saying, so I'll give it a try. And originally, they weren't actually going to release this in the U.S. Why? I don't know. Nintendo's stupid. <laughs> They're just really, really stupid. Apparently, uh, they don't really like RPGs. They're like shunning RPGs. Like, like they're... I don't know, like they're the devil. I mean, look at Dragon Quest X. That's, that hasn't come over here yet either. But, yeah, people actually had to sign Long petitions ago, and... Okay, I'll shut up now. was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. Pretty cool. Bionis and the Maconis. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Sweet eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionics, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Young man. 
We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. Ah, that's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast! Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Ha! What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away! No point dying in some godforsaken field! Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape! <laughs> wow, that guy seems like a jerk. Press Z to target a monster. Alright. That part's self-explanatory. Target an enemy to display the battle palette. Oh, okay. Select the fight icon and press A to start the battle. Will do. Let's do it. If you're too far from a monster, you can't attack it. Okay. So I'm moving the character around right here. Select arts with directional pad and press A to confirm. You cannot use an art when the icon is crossed out. Select from two different arts, Monado Enchant and Monado Buster. Alright. Try this one. And yeah, from what I've seen uh, in the gameplay footage for this game is... Uh, yeah, that ability right there. If you use it on a couple enemies when they're close by, and like in your line of sight, so to speak, then uh, you'll do good damage against them. Uh, can I target? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, <laughs> how do you target? So yeah, this uh, this playthrough is gonna be completely blind for the most part. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. Nice. Who else wants some? Whoa! Hello. I'm Z targeting. Ow. Let's try this other one. We're moving as one. Sweet. See, I have played a little bit of this game, so I kind of know how to do that part already. Uh, you gotta be kidding! It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munkar, let's do this! 
But it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you dirty. Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Oh, what a jerk. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban! Dixon, take care of the survivors! Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots! I'll just come and get the banana when everything's quieted down a bit! And things gonna be mine! <laughs> Oh, oh no, please! No! Vile Beckham. If you think the Hobbs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken! Very entertaining opening. Yeah, all this is actually going on on top of these uh, creatures or whatever. These creatures, uh, what is it? Their carcasses, their dead bodies. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the concept of this game is pretty awesome so far from what I've seen. So, and judging from that scene right there, yeah, that's a very entertaining opening. So I'm, I'm very impressed with this game so far. Was actually contemplating you. Uh, a Nikon M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. Oh, that sucks. The joint section. It's buckled. <sighs> it's completely useless. Ugh. I was contemplating using the Dolphin emulator for this, but, um, yeah, there's too many stability issues with it. Even though it does look prettier, there's too many problems. Huh? An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Oh! Oh! <sighs> Uh oh. Right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Okay. When the HP gauge is depleted, the character will be incapacitated. Alright, self-explanatory. Select arts with directional pad and press A to confirm. Use backslash to deal damage. 
Okay, so we want to hit the enemy in the back, and light heal is okay. Healing spell. We use the directional pad to select who will be healed. All right, self-explanatory. You're a lifesaver. Oops. You cannot use the same art repeatedly. Okay. Keep up the pressure! I'm powering up! Ha! We can definitely do this! Using talent arts. Talent arts are arts that are specific to a particular character. Select the talent arts icon and press A to use it. To use talent arts, the talent gauge must be full. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Right, we can do it! Strike. Bam! We're the best. Let's not lose our heads, though. Defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. Press A to open it and take the loot. Okay, we get an iron crab will shell and a small shell. Nice. Whoa. What the hell? Defeat the monster to make the barrier disappear. Oh. Alright. Uh, Z target, and let's do it! Be aware of aggro during battle. Aggro is a measure of a monster's feelings of animosity toward each party member. The more damage that a monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. If a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Oh, I see, that's what that red ring was. Shulk's backslash deals more damage if he attacks from behind the monster. This is called the art's bonus effect. Oh, that makes sense. When an aggro ring appears around Ryan, Shulk has a chance to use backslash from the rear. If successful and the bonus condition is met, the damage value will be displayed in a flash bubble. Okay. You're a lifesaver. Ah, uh, screwed it up. I wasn't directly behind him. Bam, got him. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got it, Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the Shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, these characters must know Dixon and... Dunban, I hope I okay. can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Like I said, I, I was messing around with Dolphin in this game to see if I could get it to run properly, and, uh, yeah, like I said, too many headaches, so I figured I have a good capture card, and I had to spare $80 for this game. Ugh, $80, yeah, $80 used. I think they said for a brand new copy, this game is worth, like, over $100, which is redonkulous, probably because they only re released this game in a limited supply, so it's rare. But, um, that's probably a high price for a good reason, I guess, right? I mean, I have heard a lot of good things about this game, so. Looking forward to playing it and sharing it with all of you. Caterpillar serve and a broken antenna. Hmm. 
right? Okay, you jump with the uh, B button. Interesting. Okay, you use the uh, C button to control the camera. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that's going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. So can I attack this thing, or what? Yes, I can. Alright, I'm feeling it. Eat this! Alright, we came through. Cool. Let's keep this up. Whoa. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. And in the next episode, we're going to head back to the Colony 9 area, I guess. Uh, that, yeah, that's where we're supposed to be going first. So there you go. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, before I go, apparently you can save pretty much anywhere in this game. I just got to... Which button is it? To, oh, wait, no, that's not it. Oh, you hit the minus key to go to your menu. Okay. And then you can select crap. So yeah, this might be kind of important. <laughs> In case you are playing along with me and haven't played before, that's how you save. So, that's pretty cool.